Hello and welcome to Kangaroo English. I'm Christian and this is the IELTS Academic Exam Reading Preparation Class. So, what do you need to be a good reader? Well, yes, you need to understand the grammar quite well, but the most important thing by far is vocabulary. So, how can you improve your vocabulary? Well, there are lots of ways to learn your vocabulary, like, for example, spaced repetition software, um, mnemonics, flashcards. But there is really only one way where you can learn vocabulary and be able to produce the vocabulary during an exam or when you're speaking. And that is to repeat and use. So, repeat. When I say repeat the vocabulary, I don't mean on the same day, during the same class. You must repeat the vocabulary over days and weeks and months, okay? Because if you don't repeat the vocabulary, then you don't have that instant recall from, from your mind. And also use, okay? You must use the vocabulary because vocabulary doesn't exist in isolation, okay? Vocabulary exists with other things, with nouns, prepositions, um, collocations. So, it's important that you use your new vocabulary in context. So, where can you get your vocabulary from? Well, you can use a textbook like this, but I think get rid of the textbook, okay? We know that in the IELTS exam, the texts are real texts taken from real sources and they're not written specifically for the exam. So, I want you to enjoy, okay, enjoy practicing your reading. So, whatever you're interested in, say for example, you're interested in fishing, well, go and find a fishing magazine, subscribe to a fishing magazine in English. Um, read everything about fishing, read things related to fishing, maybe how to um, make uh, fancy hooks or lures, um, read about um, boats, read about um, ocean currents, or reading about, all of your thing, reading about all of these things. Number one, you will enjoy more, and number two, you will have all of the vocabulary related um, to this thing that you're interested in, and also vocabulary not related. Now, if you are prepared and you have lots of vocabulary about a wide range of subjects, then let me show you some techniques that can help you in the exam. Okay, so now let's look at the format of the exam. So, it is 60 minutes long, and the difference between the general and the academic version of the test is, the academic version of the test has three long texts, okay? And these texts can contain non-verbal information. So, it could be a chart, a diagram, or a picture, okay? And also the texts can be discursive or analytical. So, this means that um, the texts can contain multiple different ideas and the text will jump from one idea to another, okay? So, it means that you ha must have um, much greater understanding of abstract structures in English. And again, the maximum is 40. So, if you score a 35 out of 40, this would be a band 8, and a 15 or 16, this would be down in a band 5. Okay? So, this is the format of the exam. Okay, so, some tips for the exam, and my first tip, as always, the most important, is follow the instructions, okay? You will be amazed at the amount of students who get low scores simply because they didn't follow the instructions, okay? So, if in the paper it says, write three words and you write five, incorrect. Or if it says, copy the word from the text into the thing, then copy exactly the word, okay? Don't write two answers instead of one answer. Follow the instructions. Very important. Okay, so my next tip is to watch your time, okay? Because this is a time test, it's very important that you are conscious about how much time you spend on each of the three sections, okay? If you spend 35 minutes uh, on section one, then it leaves you 25 minutes for the final two sections, which could be longer or more difficult, okay? So, when you sit down for the 
have a look which text is longer, which text um, seems to contain the most lexical vocabulary, okay? Spend a little bit more time on this one. Manage your time, be conscious of your time, okay? Super important. Okay, so what is the recommended order to do the exam, okay? Well, the first thing is we're going to scan the questions, okay? Scan means we read quickly, okay? Because this gives us some focus for our reading. When we know what the questions are, approximately what the questions are, then when we read the text, we know what we're looking for, okay? Now, the second thing is we read the text, okay? Now, we don't want to understand every single word, okay? Because probably there will be vocabulary you don't know. It's not important to understand every single word. The words that you don't understand may not be related to the question. Or maybe you can guess the meaning of the words from the context, okay? But if you spend too much time focusing on everything you don't understand, you will not have time to answer the 40 questions, okay? So read the text, not too fast, not too slow, just perfect, okay? The Goldilocks speed, okay? And then finally, and this is very important, we're going to answer the questions in order. Why? Because the questions appear in the same order in the text. If you don't answer the questions in order, every time you go to a different question, you will have to read the whole text again. You're wasting time, okay? So what you can do is answer a question, yes. If you cannot answer the next question, put a mark in the paragraph, move on to the next question, and then at the end, if you have time, you can jump back and, uh, and answer that question, okay? So this, this is the recommended order to, to do the exam. Okay, and my final tip is don't panic, okay? If you don't know some vocabulary, or if you can't answer a question, or if, um, if you don't understand the meaning of an entire paragraph, okay? Don't worry, there are other questions other texts that you will understand, okay? But if you panic, your mental resources will disappear and the exam will be a disaster. Be calm, remain calm. Okay, so now let's do a sample paper together and you can actually see all of these exam techniques in action. Okay, so now let's actually do a sample paper together so you can see these techniques in action, okay? So, you can see here that I have the answer sheet and I have the three texts that are given to me, okay? So, I need to manage my time. So, I'm going to look to see which text is the longest and most complicated because, you know, they vary in difficulty. So, the first one, I have two paragraphs and four questions, okay? The next one, I have four paragraphs and three three multiple choice, and then I have here, wow, okay, I have nine questions with some sections, and wow, okay, lots of text here. So I know immediately that I need to spend more time on this one here, okay? So probably I'll spend 25 to 30 minutes on this one, and then the other 30 minutes I'll divide between these two, okay? so. Let's follow the instructions, okay? So it says here that I have to write my, my name in capital letters and my candidate number and fill this information here. And then I have to write my answers on the answer sheet. So it says here, write your answer in boxes 10 to 12 in your answer sheet, okay? So do I write, do I copy all of this text here onto the answer sheet? No. Okay. I write A or B or C or D. Okay. Follow the instructions. It's very important. Okay. Or, um, for example, in this one here, it says write the correct letter A to E uh, in the box. So here, do I write the Chinese? No, I write A to E. Okay. Follow the instructions. Okay. So now I'm going to start. I'm going to do the easy one first. <laughs> so. Remember, first we skim the questions, okay? So, black powder, rocket propelled arrows for fighting, rocket launcher, okay? So, I know what some of these words are, not all of them. I'm not going to panic, no problems. Chinese, Indians, okay, so these are some nationalities. 
Okay, good. Now I start to read the text. Okay, so I don't want to read quickly. I don't want to read slowly and understand every single word. Okay, I want to read just so that I understand everything that's in the text. Okay. Read, 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 read. Okay, good. Now, now we answer the questions, and we answer the questions in order, because the questions are in the order in the text. So the first one here is about black powder. Black powder. So let's look for the vocabulary. Okay, black powder, first line. So I know that, that question um, seven is here. I'll put a seven. Okay, good. And then eight, rocket propelled arrows for fighting, so I'm going to... Do I go back to the beginning to look for this? No. I continue from this point. I don't want to read the whole text because wasting time. Okay. Okay, rockets. Good. So, rocket propelled powder. So, I know that here is question eight somewhere. Okay. Now, nine. Rockets as war weapons. Now, maybe I'm reading, you know, I can't find anything about question nine. I don't understand. Do I panic? No. Do I spend 10 minutes looking for this? No. Okay. I know that it's not here. So I'm going to put a 9 here. So at the end, I can come back. Okay. And then I'm looking for 10. The rocket launcher. So I read the text. Da, 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 da. Okay. Wow. Rocket launcher. I can see here that I have the, the vocabulary I'm looking for. So I know that my question 10 is here somewhere. So I'm going to put an asterisk, asterisk here. And... At the end of the exam, if I have time, I can come back and look for question nine. Okay. Now, the, the more difficult one, this one here. Now, this is a little bit different because I can't answer the questions in order because the text is, is not in order. So I have to do the opposite. I have to read the paragraph first, in order, of course, and then look for the heading. Okay. So read the paragraph, what's the heading? Read the paragraph, what's the heading? And again, you can mark. You can say, right, this is A here, this is C. If you're not sure, you can put a B maybe with a question mark and an asterisk, and you can come back at the end. Okay? Don't panic. Don't spend too much time. Okay, so they are the techniques in, in action for the IELTS Academic Reading Exam. If you would like to see any more classes about grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, etc., then don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. See you in class.